Good morning, cellmates. Little did I think that that particular saying that I've said for a number of, a number of months now to my acrylic pouring community, um, cellmates, which has actually uh, took a turnaround and literally made us cellmates. So um, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you're all not feeling stressed about this horrible situation that we're all having to face, but you're, you know, just carrying on as normal, staying calm, isolate and create. That's my mantra for the time being. So I'm going to do something which I hope is a little bright and uplifting for today. I have actually uh, got a, a cold, can you believe it or not, but it is simply a runny nose head cold, but my husband and I are definitely self-isolating, um, so it's all, all's good, but if, it, if I sound a bit funny, a bit nasally, it's because of this cold that I have, I don't actually feel ill, but I've just got a, yeah, a bit of a streaming nose, but Anyway, anyhow, we all move on and finish this pour with you. I'm going to do, this is a 40 by 40 canvas and I have put my, um, ah, my goodness, my tape on the bottom. So I keep a clean bottom and I've put my giant push pins in there. It's just make it so much easier to pour on when you've got those. If you can't find the giant push pins, like some people are saying, in, in Australia, that's we're all good because we've got our online uh, Capriol Shabby Chic that have the giant push pins, so you can order online. If you're in America, I believe the ladies and gentlemen are getting them from um, Amazon, so all good. So I'm going to do a spiral pour today. Everything is made with my. Everything I'm doing today is made with my Montmartre Studio Acrylics um, and my pouring medium is the 70% Montmartre Clear PVA and Floetro. My pouring recipe and how I make up the paint is in the drop down box description. My suppliers there, I have links to beginners videos, so it's all covered. So. Today will be the spiral pour, actually done around and around in like a spider's web. So this was a colour that I'd made up a few days ago and I know that I'd made it out of, I think one of the teal greens, I'm not sure if I added blue. I'm bad because I never wrote down what I put in it, but I'm just going to use this for the very edges to keep my edges done. Uh, if you're a beginner to pouring because you're stuck in front of the TV or you're trying to find your own entertainment because you're in isolation like most people are having to be right now, um, you can still order paints and supplies online. So that hasn't stopped. So everybody that wants to take up, always fancied taking up a new pursuit and hasn't tried uh, uh, the acrylic pouring for abstract painting work please pick up the um, or go online order your supplies and um, get busy create self-isolate and create that's where I'm finding the absolute best um, way of coping with this at the moment but it'll certainly make us all think about how we live and um, appreciate what we had before this all came about might make a lot of us live a lot differently, but that remains to be seen. But let's let's just all get through it and reunite. Look after each other. Look out. Look out for your neighbours, especially if they're elderly. Okay, let me get down and get busy, Lizzie. Okay, this was car carmine. Now, Mark Mark come out with a lot of lovely new colours in Australia. I believe some of these colours were already available in um, United States and on Amazon in the UK and Europe 
but they've only recently come out here so I'm just really enjoying using them so this one's Caramine and the opposite on this one I usually start from the center and go out but for whatever reason in the backward world at the minute I'm going the opposite way so just want to thank you guys for subscribing and watching uh, my channel it's really um, I'm amazed and humbled and so grateful to you all especially in these times but I just want to thank you all so much okay this was no what did I add I think I added blue dark blue and a bit of red to the crimson so this was another uh, custom color that I, I just play around with colors and I should really write everything down um, that I do so as I, if I get a fantastic color so, and most times I, I video them so I know what colors are in there but this this time I didn't so sorry about that I can't tell you the exact colors starting off with the kind of the yuckier colors or probably I shouldn't say they're not yucky they're they're fine if they're done with a different um, contrasts but just starting off my edge of my canvas with these and then I obviously want to get really bright bright and funky on the inside that's what I want to be or do should I say I am bright and funky on the inside. I don't know if funky means the same thing in other countries as it does Australia. I think funky in Australia means, means what? I'll have to go, I'm not sure of the exact meaning, but funky to me is, I don't know, happy and out of the box and something different. I know in some countries it doesn't mean that. Okay, now with the bright stuff, I'll start, oh, itchy nose, what does that mean? Surprise, I hope it's a nice one. So this is the Carmine, it's called Carmine from the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. might go a bit of the phalo blue which is, I just put a blob of black I did too yeah I put a blob of black and a bit of green in there to send it navy don't suppose I should have put too much dark colour in there Okay, we'll go with the green light. I know you're probably saying, oh my goodness, what is she doing now? Okay, bear with me. I'm sure they will look gorgeous in the end, but gosh, I've got an itchy you now. Oh. It usually means a surprise, so I'm told. So I believe. I hope it's a good one. So this was the white that I put gold, the metallic gold in. So it kind of makes like a shimmery skin tone colour. It's just a neutral colour that I find blends lovely with basically everything. So it's a big odd mis mismatch in here, isn't it? But I'm absolutely confident that it will turn out pretty good, pretty good. She says, she says, 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 says. Now it's my gorgeous turquoise which I love and I can 
change this up or down by adding a bit more dark blue or light blue but that is the turquoise as it comes from the Montmartre product uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics so I've got a big circus of colours in here and I'm just going to go with it let you have a little think about what I'll swipe this with. Might scare the hell out of some people, but um, I'm just going to do it and I'm going to blow caution to the wind because I can't blow caution anywhere else outside of this room. <laughs> I've got to be careful. So in this room, it's no, no, bar, no holes barred or is that the same? Keep it going around and around. I obviously need to tilt off a little bit of paint, so I'm trying to do it. Whoop. Oh, I wanted to keep my funny, odd looking circle. That's gone AWOL now. I've lost this nice corner. Have I got anything I might put back? Some more of that okay I've gone really shouldn't have tilted that as far but I did so I'm gonna put a bit more of my turquoise in just a little bit I will leave it at that I'll leave it at that I think so so flow here we go. The crazy colour that I've decided to give my um, spiral pour a swipe in is the bright yellow. So I am going to pour my yellow in the centre. And I will be doing some balloon embellishments on this particular pour because I have somebody in mind for this who loves the balloon work in bright colours so I'll just go for it. I'm going to get my little teeny tiny swifty swipe if I can find it. Come on baby, get out of there. So this is just the, an old spatula that I've put a little bit of the plastic file divider so it's nice for doing swipes out like this. So so here goes. Just taking it nice and easy. Obviously the yellow is going to turn a lot of things a different colour. So I just hope that it's not too yucky. Got faith in it. So I'm just wiping off my little Swifty swipe in between each wipe. So in between each swipe just so you don't muddy the colours up any more than necessary so it's a really good time guys to just be home and just enjoy some art even if you've never done it before just give it a go because um, it's certainly therapeutic and it's certainly rewarding. Even when it goes bad or AWOL, just scrape the canvas off and start again if you're really not that happy. It is just paint. So, but you'll always find things that you don't like about your particular art piece, somebody else just loves. So there is always somebody to either buy it or you can gift it to and it's great being able to do this uh, kind of art as a gift to family members or friends because they always seem to appreciate it because it was made by you so that's you know to me that's even better than selling but of course if you need to sell to keep your passion alive um, then obviously you sell it loads of different ways to sell 
when we do get back to normal, there is obviously um, your local coffee shops. You can ask them to put some pieces up in coffee shops or any local store. You can ask them to put some pieces up. They you know, usually take a commission from you, which is all good. It's better to um, just add that on to your sale price. People, lots of people ask me to, or what, how do you work out how to sell it? I don't work out uh, the cost of art by what it's cost me in paint and canvas. I usually, each piece, or I'll say, you know, each piece I think has its value, and I'll go from that. But I am a terrible one for putting prices on painting, so I'd r rather let them be decided by the people that I have selling my art. I was just looking this morning at my YouTube analytics, it's called. I never even knew what that meant or still struggling with it, but it's uh, like, if you're a YouTube artist, you have a, your own um, stu YouTube studio where you can go in and see what your, you can go and uh, upload your videos or see how many views your uh, work, your particular piece is getting. But it also, uh, what I looked at was the history and I actually started, I actually um, started, opened a YouTube channel I think it's uh, my, on the 19th or 28th of February 2019, even though I I'd, had a channel created to watch other people much earlier than that, that's when I actually tried to make up my own channel. So in February 2019, I had 100 subscribers so that's just a little um, bit of encouragement to you guys to show you that in 12 well just a little over 12 months I'm just I think I'm 43,000 subscribers now in a little over 12 months so I'm really happy with that okay that's just a little bit of useless information. But I just want you to know if you were starting the channel and you just plug away at it and try your best, that you know, um, you can succeed. Because little old me, you know, one year later, just over a year later, with that kind of, sub I know there's lots of other people that have got big, big subscribers. And that's okay because as I realise, ultimately, it's not about the subscribers. It's about the actual amount of people that watch your videos. So, um, yeah, don't get disheartened if you haven't got all the big subscriber count because you may have a lot more views than the big subscribers So, um, and still be a very successful YouTube artist. Okay, what do you think guys? I haven't given it the little magic wand yet, but I want to give it the magic wand and I, I am thinking about swiping those, but I actually like to have that bit of craziness in this, because this has, as you see, adding the yellow has sent it quite green. But we'll see what the um, my wand does. Now, I have had people question, or just ask me the last couple of days that we like your, um, we liked you when, we liked it better when you did the uh, butane gas um, torching of the work. Well, not today, but I will do, um, I'm going to do a half and half. I'm going to do exactly the same pour and I'm going to do half in the butane and I'm going to do half in the wonder wand so as you guys can see the difference if any that you believe so at the moment I'll just go with this and see how we go I love the wand because it's not dangerous it heats up it disperses any air bubbles and it heats up your paint slowly 
to help create the cells. So then it's far easier to use. Wow. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to go any further, that's just going to Cell City. What I do want to do, I just will let this uh, dry off for a little while, maybe 20 minutes. And when I come back, I'm sure the cells will have got bigger. But I'm going to leave it for a little while and I'm going to come back and I'm going to try and blow my balloon up as big as I can get it. And I want to do a balloon kiss right in the centre. Um, I'm not going to kiss this area, but I do want to do a big balloon kiss in the center. So that absolutely does look like nothing like I've ever done before. So I'm quite excited about that because I'm really hoping that when I do this beautiful balloon kiss, it will make all the difference. So I'm just wondering if I do add a little bit of the Ah, the crimson in the center so I do when I balloon kiss it I get some of that lovely uh, red in the center might not do no more just add a little bit of the purple so I'm just gonna go away have a cup of coffee leave it for a little while and I will be back Oh, but look how this is, oh my goodness, that is just a stunner. It really is. When that is fully dry and I have uh, gloss co coated that, that will look gorgeous. See you soon. Okay, guys, I am back. And it's only been about 15 minutes, but we're on a very, very warm day today. So I didn't want to leave it in, in case it got sticky. Um, and then I would just pull the paint up. So I've got this sort of fattish, soft balloon I've had blown up for a few days. So I'm going to try this and I'm just hoping I don't spoil it because I actually love, I love it. So here we go. I'll press it a few times. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, back again. I just had to um, pause the video because I had a call saying, <laughs> lock all the windows because we've got a big storm coming. So there you go. Look at that centre. I love it. Oh, I'm not going to do too much more now because I'm going to end up stuffing it up. But there you go. It was. It's just added that nice little bit of splash of colour right in the centre that matches all the other colours. So I'm pretty happy about that. So guys, there's my spiral pour. What do you think? Be kind, give me a thumbs up, let me know what you're thinking. It helps my channel. Uh, I try to get back to most of you, but I at least do read uh, everything that you do right. If you wanna join me on my, uh, I have Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page, and now I am associated with a uh, Australian acrylic pouring group um, so you can join the group on Facebook and that means you can post your photos of your work to show me and you'll get lots of help it, all our members are seeming like they're really helpful to one another and kind and that's the only thing we will tolerate is just kindness um, if you're gonna be negative or you're gonna be nasty it's not a place for you and and um, you won't last <laughs> But anyway, so I just wanted to let you know that that's where you can post your work. So if you give this crazy spiral, a jilly spiral, um, a go, please post your work and let me see it. Love to. So thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't done so, please do so. I appreciate it. it it's free and it helps me with my channel. So thank you guys so much. Until next time. Bye for now.